Hello everyone, my name is Therese Dean Orr and I am here with my fellow beautiful colleagues to talk about the treasured Amy Seiwert and her creation of Renaissance, which was her final commission as choreographer in residence for the SMU and Contemporary Ballet. Uh, we premiered this last spring, 2019, and it was a total joy on stage to dance. The music for Renaissance is from a women's a cappella group um, based in Oakland called Kitka. They specialize in European folk and ethnic music, and the songs that they sing all have different meanings, but many of them were traditional dance songs for those cultures. So to start, Amy wanted to personify women empowerment without having to say, hey, look at us women, we can be strong too. She was a big advocate for about how women shouldn't have to prove our strength to be strong, we can be exactly how we are. So throughout this piece, you'll see the unity of the whole group, dancing just the same, lifting, sharing weights, a sense of grounding and a natural strength. The music she chose, like Peter mentioned, is an all women's group with seven different sections, accompanied with intricate musicality and rhythms. One of my favorite highlights was the pas de deux dance between myself and Ben Needham Wood. Uh, it was created with a focus of making one arc uh, from the very beginning to the end. Uh, ben had moments of breaking out into quicker, sharper movements, uh, whereas I remained the calming constant. Peter, myself, Ian, and Lauren were paired together to dance in unison with one of the fastest and most difficult musical sections. Amy looked at us and she said, I can't give you counts, so figure something out and make sure you dance together. Peter, Peter and Ian held down the fort for us, getting together quite often to count the music to make sure that we all had the same plan. In the end, it ended up being one of my favorite sections of the ballet. We would get off stage, high five each other, take a breath, and then make our next entrance. One of my um, sections that stood out for me was when five men and Erin Yarborough drifted around the stage and made her appear as if she was in zero gravity. Um, however, this music for the section was this very eerie kind of creepy lullaby. Uh, well, thank you so much for tuning in and we hope you enjoy Renaissance as much as we enjoyed the process. Absolutely, yeah, we're super thrilled to be sharing this ballet with you. Stay safe and enjoy. Wonderful evening and we hope you enjoy. <laughs>